Hi, my name is Abby. Hi, my name is Arthi, and we're from the Mississauga Library. So what does the ability to lift 100,000 kilograms of weight, window shades, and a car have in common? They all use pulleys. Pulleys is one of six simple machines that are used in everyday machines to make our daily tasks easier. So a pulley is a wheel with a groove around the edge. So here, I'm going to show you a wheel and around the edge is a groove. You can attach a belt or a rope around the wheel and then it actually turns the wheel. And then if you attach a weight to the other end of the rope and pull on this side, on the other end of the rope, you're actually going to lift your object up. So today, we're going to be making our own pulley systems using Lego. You will need Legos, a wheel with groove, a wall element, a base plate, some string, scissors, and coins. First, build a wall that is seven and a half by seven and a half inches. When building the wall, make sure to include a wall element on the far left side. On our wall, we added the wall element on the 17th line of bricks. Before completing the wall, we added a pulley on the 19th row of bricks and 4 inches from the left side of the wall. Next, we're going to build the basket that will hold the coins. We used a 5x7 pronged platform as our base for the basket and added two wall elements to the sides of the basket. Make sure to add the pulley in the basket as well. We took off the rubber tire of the wheel and are using it as our pulley today. Depending on what Lego pieces you have, you can improvise on how you attach the pulley to your basket. Here, we have a four-pronged Lego with a pulley on both sides. We will only be using one side for today's project. Now that you've built the wall and basket, we're ready to try out our different pulleys. First, we'll start with the single pulley. For this, you will bring your string through the wall elements on your basket and tie a knot on top. Then, take the string and bring it over the pulley on your wall. Lastly, fill your basket with coins. When you pull down the string, the basket will rise. This system is a single pulley system that uses a fixed pulley and a downward force to bring the basket up. Next, let's see what happens when we tie the string to the wall element on our wall. Bring the string through the pulley in the basket and over the pulley on the wall. You may need to empty your basket and refill with the coins. Now using a downward pull, raise the basket up. This is a pulley system that uses a movable pulley attachment to the basket in order to raise the basket up. So if you compare the two pulley systems that we made, did you notice a significant difference in the amount of force that we had to use to pull down the string and bring up the basket? You'll notice that it's easier to raise the basket using two pulleys rather than the one fixed pulley. This is because the pulleys offer a mechanical advantage. A mechanical advantage is an advantage gained by using simple machines like pulleys to accomplish work with less effort. Pulleys help us by changing the direction of the force in which we lift the object. Without a pulley, we'll need to lift up in order to pull up the object. With a pulley, we just need to pull down on the string in order to lift the object. And pulling down is a lot easier than pulling up. Pulleys take advantage of the power of gravity. When we pull up on a string, we're actually going against gravity. But when we pull down on the string, we're exerting a force that is in tandem with gravity. Congratulations on making your own pulley system. Now that you've made your own, you'll start to notice pulley systems all around you. And then maybe you can use all your Legos to recreate all of them. So that's about it. Remember, before you sign up to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to check out our website and social media channels. Thanks, Thanks and see you next time! time.